Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining clutch discs. Uh, they're not quite as simple as they may look. This particular clutch disc is a performance clutch disc uh, from Yonaka Motorsports. Uh, it's a six puck design which is a little different than OEM. Uh, one thing you may want to check out is my video on uh, performance clutches before watching that and that'll help understand the basics. I'm not going to go over everything. I'm going to kind of just talk about the clutch disc itself in this video. So the clutch disc uh, as you can see here, it has this internal spline, and this spline is connected to a larger hub. So the hub is beneath this uh, brown piece that you see here, and basically within that hub, you've got uh, each of these four springs, and they're connected uh, to the hub inside of there. Now, if you look at this kind of on the side here, what you've got is uh, this plate here, this main plate, is connected to these retainer plates, um, by these little stop pins. So these little silver pins right here are what are connecting this main plate, uh, all of this, where the friction material connects to these retainer plates. So basically, uh, we've got these springs in here, and the purpose for these springs is to help cushion the engagement of the clutch. So basically, any fluctuations that you have in engine RPM, uh, these springs are going to help absorb. So how do you compress these springs? I mean, it seems like they just rotate with it. Well, basically what we've got going on inside is, here's this retainer plate with these uh, stop pins. These stop plan pins are uh, connected to this main plate, but they are not connected. There is no direct connection uh, between this hub and these retainer plates. Instead, that connection comes through the spring. So as this retainer, as the torque passes through, uh, it's going to push on these pads here and cause this to rotate. Now, this main plate is connected to the retainer plate, so that's going to compress, that's going to turn, and when it turns, it's going to push on these springs, and these springs are what are going to press onto the hub. So as it presses, this spring will compress against the other uh, side of the hub, and it'll move inside of the retainer plate. So basically, it can move in this direction, and that'll turn with it. Um, now, if we just have springs, this thing's going to kind of just spring back and forth as you uh, lay on the throttle. So inside of this, in this very center part, there's a friction disc. So where I've shown here this blue dotted line, that's where that retainer plate is. Um, there's the blue retainer plate, and that's kind of how it sits around this hub, like you can see here. Now, I've kind of drawn the center of what's going on in the very middle here, in this smaller section, and that's what we've got here. So basically these retainer plates are clamped uh, onto this friction disc, which is in the very center there, that brown friction disc. And so what that friction disc does is it dampens out the spring force so this thing doesn't just bounce back and forth. Um, and you can kind of think of this as like a clutch that's always engaged. So those two uh, retainer plates are always sandwiching that friction disc, so there's always going to be a force there uh, resisting that change from pushing, compressing these springs and causing this to rotate. So that's what's going to dampen out that force. So let's take a more detailed look at this. So here we have the clutch disc. Now let's just kind of try and follow the torque and see how uh, this entire assembly works. So basically first you're going to have that pressure plate clamped down on this against the flywheel and it's going to transfer the torque first to these friction pads. Okay, so from these friction pads they're connected directly to this main plate right here. Now connected to the main plate you can see these stop pins connect these retaining plates. So the torque's going to travel from this to this, to these pins right here, then from those pins it's going to rotate uh, this assembly and so these two retaining plates here are going to want to rotate and so as those retaining plates rotate they're going to press on the spring right there and that's going to compress that spring against the other side of this hub in the center and as it presses on that hub in the center it begins to rotate this uh, spline right here which is connected to the uh, shaft which is going to be the input for the transmission. So ultimately that's how your torque is going to pass from the friction uh, pads and to the transmission. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and I will also include a product link to this Yonaka performance clutch disc in the video description.